here at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time this afternoon. And there we go. We have visual on four healthy mains. That view was from inside. Freedom copy. Yeah. That view was from inside one of the buckets where the parachutes are located. So we see a great view there of the reefing on those parachutes. And as those parachutes, those main parachutes begin to inflate fully, four beautiful, healthy names. Now, generally speaking, um, and and there we do see crew nine, some happy waves, smiles all around back on Earth. And we're going to stand by for splashdown located in the Gulf of America um, off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Down. Crew nine, back on Earth. They were just in space moments ago, <laughs> so their arms were able to float freely. 400 meters. This is a gorgeous bluebird day here that we have for the splashdown of Crew 9. It's incredible to think that the Dragon capsule just minutes ago was going over 17,000 17, miles per hour and now gently coasting to a soft splashdown. 200. Copy, 200 meters. Brace for splashdown. As you can see there on your screen, continuing to monitor progress of the Dragon spacecraft. And we're going to stand by for Splashdown, located in the Gulf of America, um, off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. And Splashdown, Crew 9, back on Earth. Freedom, splashdown. Good main release. Copy, splashdown. We see main shoots cut. Nick, Alex, Butch, Sunny, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. Closing the distance there between, oh, Dolphin Cam back again. <laughs> Uh, we can we can see uh, that the Dragon capsule and the recovery vessel that distance is closing. Again, this is just one more step as we continue to work recovery operations for Dragon Freedom, uh, and we anticipate uh, the lift of the Dragon capsule to occur here in just a few minutes. Now, once uh, all of the rigging is on the capsule and it's hooked up to the recovery vessel, we will see the hydraulic arm, which is that kind of like bridge-like structure there at the aft end of the recovery vessel. We'll see that articulate backwards, and um, that's a good sign that we're, we're getting even closer to pulling the capsule out of the water. It will then uh, move forward, and uh, the capsule will be placed inside of what you can see there is basically a basket. We call it the nest, uh, dragon nest, where that's where the capsule will will be placed uh, in order for it to be translated to the forward end of the of the vessel and for the astronauts to hear that is there working on top of the dragon capsule. Earlier we saw that person performing safety checks. Now we can see some harnessing being placed around the capsule. This harnessing is what will be used to lift the dragon capsule out of the water and onto the recovery vessel. Wow, we got a cute little pod of dolphins. It wasn't just one or two. I mean, that water just looks beautiful. We had ideal uh, splashdown parameters today. Obviously, wave height near a concern. Um, the weather is beautiful, as Jaden mentioned, in the 60s, sunny.